Hey everyone, ready for another deep dive? Today we're tackling a pretty big change in the world of online video, specifically YouTube Shorts. Yeah, those bite-sized videos you love, or maybe love to make, they're about to get a whole lot longer and we're gonna break down exactly what that means. And it's more than just a tweak to the time limit. This is YouTube making a direct play against its rivals, TikTok, Instagram Reels, the whole landscape is shifting. Right, and we gotta talk about why creators and viewers too should even care. So bottom line, YouTube shorts are getting supersized, going from that one minute max we're used to, all the way up to three minutes. Imagine the possibilities, right? It's almost a whole new category opening up within short form. I mean, I can see it, mini docs, deeper dives, maybe even short skits that wouldn't have worked before. But let's get practical. There's got to be some fine print with a change this big. Oh, absolutely. There always is. First date to mark on your calendars is October 15th, 2024. That's when the three minute era officially begins. So does that mean if I've got a two minute masterpiece ready to go right now, I should just hold up? It might be smart. Here's the yeah. thing. Only shorts uploaded after that date fall under the new rules and more importantly, the new revenue model. Anything before then, even if it's under three minutes, stays long form as far as YouTube's concerned. Okay, that's huge for creators to know. Now, we can't talk shorts without talking soundtracks. What's the deal there? For those sticking to under a minute, nothing changes. You still got free reign of the YouTube audio library go wild, but... There's always a but, right. Right, anything over one minute, you're limited to royalty-free music only from that library. So, no more epic movie trailer music for your two and a half minute masterpiece unless you've got the rights or it's elevator music pretty much it'll be interesting to see how that impacts the vibe of shorts going forward but there's another potential roadblock for creators aiming for longer content content id claims yo oh, those are never fun especially with a longer short get hit with one of those for music you're talking a global block no views no recommendations no money it can be brutal. Ouch, that's got to sting. Yeah, it underlines why understanding copyright, even if you're just starting out, is so crucial. You can fight claims, remove the offending bits, but it's a whole thing. Better to be safe than sorry from the get-go. It's like we're saying to creators, hey, here's a whole new sandbox, go play. But nobody's quite sure what the rules are yet, especially when it comes to petting for that playtime. You're hitting on a huge point for a lot of creators, myself included, the monetization side of this. So we know longer shorts are coming, but what about the bottom line? Will they actually bring in the dough? So the good news is those three minute shorts will fall under the same revenue sharing system as the regular shorts feed. Okay, so that's a relief, but is it the same rates? Like will a three minute short pull in similar revenue to a three minute chunk of a longer video? Ah, now that's the million dollar question. Honestly, it's too early to tell. We got to see how this plays out. You know, will people actually watch longer shorts all the way through? That'll make a big difference for those ad dollars. My engagement is everything. But this is YouTube. They've always got an exception to the rule, right? What about those official music channels, the big artists? Ah, good catch. So even if they go vertical, short form, under three minutes, those guys are still considered long form content. Different rules for the music biz. So picture this, your favorite pop star drops a surprise two minute music video, all slick and vertical. That's not a short. Nope, still long form in YouTube's eyes. Like it's a whole different beast, which makes sense. Music's always had its own thing going on with YouTube. It's wild, right? It From storytelling potential to copyright landmines to how we even define short anymore, this change has layers. It's like they shook up a snow globe and we're waiting to see where all the flakes land, but this could really reshape what short form even means in the long run. Okay, bold statement. You really think YouTube's onto something here? Or is this just them chasing after TikTok? I think there's a real hunger out there from viewers and creators for something between a super polished 10 minute video and a 30 second flash of content. You're saying there's a sweet spot waiting to be filled, like those creators who want to tell a more intricate story, but don't necessarily have the time or resources for a full blown production. Exactly. Imagine the possibilities. Independent filmmakers, educators, even journalists could use this new format to reach a whole new audience. Okay, I'm getting excited now. But let's be real, not every creator is going to nail this right out of the gate. Yeah. It's a different skill set to hold someone's attention for three minutes straight. 100%. Some people are made for snappy, in-your-face content. Three minutes of that could yeah. be rough. It's going to be a learning curve for sure. And let's not forget, we're all so used to that instant gratification, that quick hit of entertainment. 
Will people really sit still for three minutes on a short when there's a million other things fighting for their attention? It's the big unknown, right? Are we going to see a shift in how people consume shorts, or will those longer ones just get lost in the shuffle? It's almost like we're seeing a new format being born right before our eyes, something between a short and, well, a not-so-short video. It's true. Like, where's the line? Mm. But that's what makes this so fascinating. We're watching YouTube take a gamble trying to stand out in this ocean of content. And let's be real, our attention spans are constantly being pulled in a million directions. So is this a smart move or will people just crave that quick dopamine hit even more? Maybe it's a bit of both. Look, this isn't just about longer videos. It's about how we consume content in this day and age. We're all bombarded with information, constantly scrolling, always looking for the next thing. And YouTube's right in the thick of it, trying to figure out where they fit in. This could be their way to offer something different, something more, or it could backfire spectacularly. We'll have to see. That's the beauty of it, right? Nobody knows for sure. But what we do know is that this is a big deal for creators. Do you adapt? Do you stick to your guns? It's a tough call. And that's what I love about this whole thing. It's forcing everyone to think outside the box to innovate. I'm excited to see what kind of creativity comes out of this, how creators rise to the challenge. It's a whole new ball game, that's for sure. Well, I think we've covered a lot of ground here today, from the why behind this change to the potential impact on creators and viewers alike. What a deep dive it's been. Absolutely. We talked about the good, the bad, and the unknown. But more importantly, we've raised some really interesting questions about the future of short form content and frankly, content in general. And those are questions we want you all to keep thinking about. Whether you're a creator trying to find your footing or just someone who loves to watch and be entertained, this impacts all of us. It's a reminder that the way we consume content is constantly evolving and it's up to us to adapt and decide what we want that experience to look like. So next time you're scrolling through YouTube, think about the forces at play, the decisions being made, the creativity bubbling up, and hey, maybe you'll be inspired to create something amazing yourself. Until next time, everyone.